Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Dear learners, I extend a very warm welcome to you all in this course on Sociology of Sanitation. This is the seventh lecture in the series of ten lecture. Today we are supposed to concentrate on public health and sanitation. In the previous sixth lecture, we discussed upon the issues related to environment and sanitation. In that sixth lecture, we deciphered how environment is closely associated to sanitation and how our day to day life, our activities and other socio-cultural norms, our behavioral patterns can easily affect the sanitation and environment and if we lead a healthy life, we will behave in a san sanitation sensitive behavior, then we can make contribute a good society to live for others also. And today's lecture we will discuss certain things related to health, sanitation, public health and our behavioral pattern. As we all know that it is said that health is wealth, of course it was, but you can easily experience these days that health is more than wealth. It is of course difficult, but not that much difficult to earn money, but once you lost your health or someone is ill, you might have experienced it is very difficult to get rid of, of that particular illness. So well, you may consider health as wealth because we keep on securing our wealth in the same way you may pay sufficient attention to your health, but health is necessary not only for our survival, but it is also related to our dear and, and the close relatives at the same time if we keep our health safe then maybe because of that sanitation related behavior or that environment related behaviors other may get also affected. So we should concentrate on securing our health not only our health, but when that we will discuss in public health that we, so far as public health is concerned our small steps, our baby steps can be of helpful for others also. So what can we play role at any way whether as a medical practitioner or as a general individual or as an active member of the society, we should keep on trying our best to maintain good at atmosphere so that everyone can lead a healthy life. As we all know that previously when we were not that much aware or even in some areas, the concept of health is totally different. If someone is lean and thin, we may consider he is not healthy, he is sick perhaps or someone is little bit fat, we may refer to in our day to day life or during our gossip when we have to refer particular individual and he is little bit fat, we refer to ok, I am referring to that individual, he is healthy. It means we simply associate one is fat, healthy, one is thin, he is unhealthy or sometimes one seems good, he is not noticing or he is not saying that well I am ill, it means he is healthy or someone is telling or someone is in the hospital only then he or she is considered as unhealthy. But gradually we start thinking in different direction and then we start realizing that health is not simply related to physical aspect, but number of other aspects including social well-being is also associated to it. And as you all know that we are discussing this public health and health in context of sociology of sanitation. So again as you all know that when we will discuss health and public health, we will discuss keeping in mind the sociological understanding or social setting or social aspects of health that is part and parcel of our discussion. When we start discussing about health 
as we know that a social setup, social behavioral pattern or social well being is equally important for it. Not only social well being, but when we talk about health, psychological aspects play important role in it also. It is not simply that if one is not having any disease, it can easily be concluded that yes, he is healthy, of course not. It is a overall aspect of individual, then we can say that okay, he is physically fit also, he is psychologically fit also, he is socially or other angle from that angle also, he is okay. So, let us discuss that really what does it mean when we say well, someone is healthy or someone is not. So, let us start our discussion with definition given by WHO regarding health. WHO says, health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. I have highlighted social well being. These few things are here which you can keep in mind while considering health. Of course, WHO focuses on that World Health Organization clearly says that of course, it is you are supposed to or one is supposed to be completely physically fit. Other than that, mental and social well being is equally important. Now, you can easily understand that physical fitness is sole responsibility of to some extent particular individual, but whether one will remain physically at the same time, mentally at the same time from social angle also fit for that society needs to do something. We are supposed to create that atmosphere in the family at a small level, at society, at larger level, only then we will be allow others to remain healthy. Here lies the importance of the members of the family and importance of the members of the society. When it is said that well, of course, it is mental. Can you imagine that even if someone is fit and he or she is mentally tortured by the society, by the family members, can you imagine that he will or she will claim that yes, I am happy? Of course not. So, it is our responsibility to create that atmosphere that one should not face any type of exploitation, one should not face any type of mental torture, one should not face any type of discrimination, only then we can say that yes, he is from psychological angle also relaxed and he may feel healthy. Same is there when we say that social well being, of course, can you imagine any social being if you promote discrimination in the society, if you promote that well, I belong to this caste, you belong to that caste, I belong to this gender, you belong to that gender, I belong to this region, you belong to that region, I belong to this religion, you belong to that religion. If we keep on talking about these discriminations and whenever we talk about discrimination, we are habituated of making that in hierarchy that my caste is superior, my gender is superior, my religion is superior. And when we say that superiority inferiority complex, it means we are indirectly telling others that you are inferior. When we create that atmosphere in the society, keeping in mind that they are also human being, they are also individual, how can we say that one can be inferior? We simply based on the fact that these features are ascribed status you belong to particular caste, you belong to particular religion, you belong to particular religion, you belong to particular gender, all these things are just ascribed status. We do not make any efforts. So, if you get particular status related to your caste, religion, gender, you may enjoy, but let others enjoy their ascribed status. They may belong to particular gender or caste or religion but they are entitled to lead healthy life. Just imagine if you keep on telling them, look, you belong to that gender, you belong to that caste, you are inferior, you are not at par with me, no, 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 you are not allowed to enter here, no, 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 you are not allowed to play with us or you are supposed to be like that. These words, these uh, behavioral pattern of individual prevalent in the society play major role in 
making public health. You cannot imagine that even these small things play any role in the uh, public health. Well, just think that if we keep on maintaining or promoting discrimination, you might have heard no more of discrimination being um, happen against women, against particular caste, against particular religion. And these discriminatory practices are not only bad, of course, no one will promote, but it affects long term effects in the minds of individual, whether it is the discrimination based on gender, based on caste, based on any ethnic group, based on religion, people keep on thinking that yes, I am inferior, yes, I am inferior. So, that inferiority complex or other way superiority complex does not allow particular individual to remain healthy, it is based on that practice. So, we are supposed to as an active member of the society, if we want that well, society should remain happy, society should remain in close contact with other individual also or everyone should lead a happy and healthy life, then we are supposed to allow others to lead a happy and healthy life. Well, as we protect our health, so it is our moral responsibility to allow others also that well, they are entitled to lead a healthy life. So, here I focused special, especially on social well-being that you all are also supposed to keep in mind that health is not simply if someone is not sick or someone is not having any disease or someone is not, not having any infirmity, we are supposed to consider them health. Of course, not health is a broad aspect and all these things are part and parcel of health. Again, the preamble of the World Health Organization constitution affirms that it is one of the fundamental rights of every human being to enjoy the highest attainable standard of health. I repeat, highest attainable standard of health. Well, everyone is entitled to get that. And of course, it is not that it is part of human right or WHO says something or even any government says something, but we all are human being. Being a human, we should know that there is difference between human being and being human. We all are human being, but we should try to remain being human. When I say that being human, of course, we should, we are responsible for creating that atmosphere, so that other may also consider themselves that yes, I am enjoying my human right, I am enjoying my health or I am getting all the desired thing which I am supposed to get as a member of the society. So, dear learners, you are also supposed to keep these things in mind and you are also supposed to practice these things in your life. Next, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is stated in Article 25 and I quote, everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself and his family, unquote. Here additional thing is there that is mentioned in uh, this uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948 that himself and his family. Of course, here you are supposed to understand two things. One, we are supposed to allow not only individual, but let them take care of his family also, one point. Another, we all are supposed to look after our members of the family also. Just imagine that when we keep on talking about health, we keep on talking about social well-being, Number of cases are reported these days that senior members of our family, they are being ignored. Of course, it is not good thing for Indian society where we are habituated of uh, nurturing our good culture, maintaining our good culture. As per this definition also, we are supposed to look after our children, our parents, they should stay with us. It is not only beneficial for their health but it is beneficial for the socialization process of our children also, because if in any family, grandparents, they stay there, they not only work as a guardian, but 
they are there to protect the culture, they are there to guide us, we can get the benefit of their experiences. So here I would like to add that we should also pay sufficient attention to looking after our parents, grandparents so that they may stay and we may justify the statements given in the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Right. Next, if we talk about Indian society, in India also constitution of India in its article 21, it clearly identifies health as an integral aspect of human life. I repeat integral aspect of human life. Of course, we all are human beings. When we say that human life, it means it is related to society because individual do not stay alone. When we talk about society, it is the responsibility of the society that when we frame certain rules and regulations, when we decide that well, this, these are the different norms and patterns, these are the different means of social control, we should keep in mind that these norms, patterns, values should respect each and every individual's dignity. No one should feel degraded, no one feel, should feel that yes, I am inferior, others should not feel that I am superior. It is the responsibility of the society to protect not only the dignity, when we protect the other's dignity, it means we are protecting the lives and other good things prevalent in the society. That dear learners, you are also supposed to keep in mind. The term health has been defined by different scholars from different perspectives. Let us have a look on these different categories of explanations through which we can easily understand the overall explanation of health. First is defined by the medical approach. The medical approach expra explains this uh, based on germ theory of disease. Germ theory of disease means it health, views health as an absence of disease. As we discussed at initial level that if someone is not having any disease or one is having absence of any germ, then we, we consider that well he or she is healthy. So this biomedical approach explains that well one is lacking any disease, it means he or she is healthy. This is the first explanation given by the biomedical approach. Next is the ecological approach. The ecological approach views health as a dynamic equilibrium between man and his environment. Of course, in the last six, uh, lecture, we were discussing something about the environment and sanitation. Again, this ecological approach and in that environment and sanitation, we touched upon the issues of ecological sanitation or ecosan. This ecological approach of health also consider that well, if there is any balance, balance in the equilibrium of environment and individual, then we may consider that particular individual is healthy. So ecological explanation focuses on the dynamic equilibrium between man and his environment. Let me make it very clear that when these definitions use the term man, it means individual. Next is given by the psychological approach. The psychological approach states that health is not only related to the body, but also to the mind and especially to the attitude of the individual. Here, dear learners, you are supposed to understand the importance of mind and attitude. When we say that it is related to mind and attitude, of course, your own attitude, your own outlook plays important role. At the same time, your attitude, your perception may create adverse or good effect to others attitude also. So, first of all, we are supposed to keep in mind that well from psychological angle, we should think good thing, we should develop good perception, we should always be positive. These psychological aspects you are supposed to keep in mind, not only for your good health, but do remember your, your outlook, your perception, your positive thing may play positive role in others well-being also, because those who are related to you, your family members, your close relatives, your 
fellow colleagues those who are working with you if you will remain having positive attitude and remain happy then it is going to affect also. So, keeping in mind the positive spirit positive aspect of life is not only necessary for your well being, but it is closely associated to your uh, near and dear ones also. So, be positive and always think in the positive direction for remaining healthy. Well, next is socio cultural approach. It considers health as a product of the social and community structure. Here lies the importance of sociology of sanitation. When we say that sociology of sanitation, of course, when we talk about socio cultural structure, we the members of the society, we are there. It is not that when one stays in society, he or she is free to behave in a particular way, he or she is supposed to lead any life, of course not. Different norms, patterns, values are there in the society. We are supposed to filter the good things, we are supposed to get the good things of our norms, patterns and culture, so that everyone can stay in healthy life, healthy atmosphere. At the same time, if any bad things are prevalent in the particular group, particular uh, category, then we are supposed to ignore or discard those things, because we should know that we all are human being. When we all are human being, we all are supposed to, we all are entitled to lead a healthy life. So, we are supposed to create, we are supposed to nurture a good and healthy social norms and patterns, not only for ourselves, our family members, but for others also. These are the four different approaches to understand what is health and I hope with these approaches, you can easily understand the real picture of the health. And the reference is already mentioned, the name of the book is Health Concerns in India and it is there in the M. Akram's edited book, Health Dynamics and Marginalized Community. Community. Now, when we know the background of the health, let us discuss something about public health. What do we mean by public health? Of course, health is related to we people. Public health, when we go outside our home and when we talk beyond any single individual or even in public health, number of individuals are associated to. So, let us discuss something about what is public health, then we can easily understand what is the role of health, public health and sanitation. WHO says regarding public health, public health is the science and art of preventing diseases, prolonging life and promoting mental and physical health and efficiently through organized community efforts for the sanitation of the environment, the control of communicable infection, the education of the individual's personal hygiene the organization of medical and nursing services for early diagnosis and preventive treatment of disease. The development of social machinery to ensure to every individual a standard of living adequate for the maintenance of health and so organizing these benefits as to enable every citizen to realize his birthright of health and longevity. Of course, it is taken from WHO's report of expert committee on public health. With these lines, these words, you can easily understand that what is public health and what is the role of every individual, every organization and when we talk about public health, we can easily understand that well health is part and parcel of society and when we use the term public health, it includes number of things, it is not simply related to particular individuals sickness, but it is also related to the arrangements related to the individuals involved in it related to number of other things that we are supposed to keep in mind when we discuss something about public health. 
Again, if we talk about public health, it is said that public health system is composed of government run programs that ensure access to clean drinking water, basic sewage and sanitation services and inoculation against infectious diseases. Now, here we are supposed to understand the importance of sanitation in public health. Few things are, few terms are clearly mentioned like clean drinking water, basic sewage and sanitation services. You can easily understand these terms we have, we have we keep on using all these terms when we are explaining sanitation. So, sanitation and public health these are, these two things are very closely related and it is in, uh, clearly revealed by the fact that when we start discussing what is public health, even in that we need clean drinking water, basic sewage and sanitary services. You can easily understand that when you visit any hospital, when you visit any other public uh, health system, you just pay sufficient attention to the system related to sanitation. Now, you just imagine that when you want that when I am admitted or when my close relatives are admitted, the hospital or any medical facility should remain clean. You are also supposed to maintain that cleanliness when others are there. It means, it is not that when I am, I need particular help, I should take care, but if you are part and parcel of any medical facility or if you are visiting any medical facility, you are supposed to behave in a particular way, so that other may feel that yes, the system is very good, the sanitation facility is very good, the sewage system is very good. So, you are also supposed to actively participate in your behavioral pattern, keeping the medical facilities and other areas very clean and from that angle, you are supposed to be careful every time. Again, healthcare system is a component of public health system. It is composed of a nation's clinics, hospitals and other facilities for ensuring health and treating illness. Of course, here in first we discussed about healthcare system. So, when we say that healthcare system, it includes number of things like hospitals and other facilities. System, the term itself indicates it is a system. So, those who are involved in that system, they are supposed to understand that yes, the system is good and if the system is good, then only those who will be part of the system will consider themselves that yes, I am good. So, that particular thing is also required for understanding that if it is part of the system, we are supposed to understand that system should remain good. Well, as we know that what is public health system, let us discuss something about what do we mean by medical interventions. Medical interventions such as drug therapies and vaccinations had made historically little contribution to the decline in mortality from infectious diseases. Rather, increasing life expectancy was the result of improving social conditions, smaller family sizes, better nutrition and healthier environment. Why I used this statement? You are supposed to understand that and I intentionally highlighted social conditions. This statement clearly focuses on that well, social condition or a small family size and looking after the society. So, family plays important role in creating or maintaining healthy life for individual. Here when it says that improving social condition, it means not only from physical angle or from medical angle, but if we keep on respecting one another, if we keep on paying sufficient attention to each and every one. Take simple example, there are a number of discriminatory practices in the society, but if you take simple example of gender discrimination, when we say that 
we should improve social condition as we all know that in generally women are least taker of the food they take if anything remains in the family then they take other thing is that she keeps on preparing for others but she may or may not get sufficient food for themselves so discriminatory practice against for example gender discrimination at the same time if other family members are there or other members are there those who belong to different caste and other thing we are supposed to pay sufficient at attention towards their health also because they are part and parcel of life if we know that yes male and female both are part of the family if male are supposed to take sufficient food women should also take sufficient food at the same time what happens in normal family if male members they need particular medical help we immediately rush to hospitals we immediately provide them desired level of medical services but we are ignorant towards women these practices should be changed so we are supposed to create good atmosphere in social conditioning because it is justified by the statement also that if we create good social condition in the society then we may give good healthy life or we may say that yes everything is okay in our society and when we say that everything is okay in our society if every society starts thinking in that particular way we can think of the whole universe the whole world that well we are satisfied that our socio cultural norms and patterns our behavioral patterns are good and it can contribute positively in the healthy life healthy society if we talk about india the bhore committee report considered as a landmark in the health system of india the health planning and development committee's report 1946 which is popularly known as bhore committee report is the first organized set of health care data for india the poor health status was attributed to prevalence of insanitary conditions malnutrition and undernutrition leading to high infant and maternal mortality rates inadequacy of the existing medical and preventive health organizations lack of general and health education unemployment and poverty that produced adverse effect on health and resulted in inadequate nutrition improper housing and lack of medical care here you are supposed to understand that number of things have been listed in the report of the bhore committee we are supposed to touch upon these issues that well what should be done and do not think that this is a report of 1946 it started giving hint to us that yes we are not supposed to behave according to or opposite to the environmental factors we are supposed to respect environment we are supposed to develop our behavior in proper sanitation facility we are supposed to maintain we are supposed to pay sufficient attention to our health hygiene and health so bhore committee's report gives us uh, food for thought that we should think in proper direction what should be the way of health system in india number of policies number of health policies number of schemes are there in india for the health sanitation and environment of course our ninth lecture will be dedicated to all the schemes all the programs of government of india but right now if we have to start the uh, wonderful policy that we are having right now wonderful scheme that we are having right now we are supposed to think about the nrhm national rural health mission the alma ata declaration in 1978 gave an insight into understanding of primary health care it viewed health as an integral part of the socio economic 
development of a country. It provided most holistic understanding of health and the framework that states needed to pursue to achieve the goals of development. National Rural Health Mission was launched in May 2005 for bringing the income, education and health gap of the people. The mission attempts a major shift in the governance of public health by giving leadership to Panchayati Raj institutions in all matters related to health at the district level and sub-district levels. It aims to increase the outreach of the health system to village and even household levels through the provision of a voluntary trained female community activist called ASA accredited social health activist. Well, here we are supposed to understand few things when it talks about the bridging the income, education and health gap of the people. I repeat, bridging the income, education and health gap of the people. You can easily understand that what is the importance of income, education and health in individual's life. Well, we should keep on trying that there should not be any gap in the literacy rate when it talks about education. Well, it is not that certain group of people they are educated, others are not. Literacy rate in number of areas are very poor. Overall literacy rate is not satisfactory in India, in India and in some of the states situation is worse and if we talk about female literacy, it is worse in most of the areas. Here we are supposed to understand that literacy rate plays important role even in health sector also that it clearly highlights income, education and health gaps. At the same time, when we are talking about health gaps, we clearly see that there is large gap, there is unbridgeable gap between the particular type of people and another type of people, particular type of people enjoys all the facilities related to health, another type of people they are ignorant of, they are not even aware and society does not pay sufficient attention to such people so that they can also enjoy. At the same time it is not necessary that every time we need particular formal medical setup. We are having number of good things related to our health and COVID-19 played important role in making us aware that yes, it is not only through the formal uh, setup or otherwise we can take help from our traditional medicine or in every culture certain behavioral traits are there, behavioral patterns are there. If we follow all those norms and patterns, we can remain healthy. At the same time, if we keep on doing our traditional system is very strong, not only from other angle, but from health angle also. In every society, you may belong to any culture, any society. Every society, every culture teaches you good things regarding good uh, habit, good practice regarding your health. We are simply supposed to understand that, well, you may take formal, you may visit formal setup, you may get any type of medicine. but if you inculcate those behavioral pattern, the good habits, then we may keep not only our society healthy, but we may suggest others also that well, simply by living in a particular way or if our lifestyle is good, we can live a healthy life. That is the lesson of this particular statement. Well, if we are supposed to understand that certain things play important role in bridging the gap between health and sanitation. We are supposed to understand that well, what are those problems which should uh, need a special attention or there are certain issues which needs a special attention. If we focus on these issues, then we can uh, develop good relation between health and sanitation. First problem related to health and sanitation is of course pollution and when we say pollution, 
pollution is of a number of types. It is not simply that when you are burning something in particular area, even uh, related to harvest, when you are using particular vehicle, then it is related to pollution and not only air pollution. When you are speaking too much unnecessary and in a louder voice, even noise pollution is also another part of that. When you are using particular thing which falls in the domain of noise pollution. So, it is not necessary that we should concentrate only on the factory, the other smoke, other related things in the society, but when we say that pollution, it includes number of other things also. So, as we are discussing, pollution includes number of things. The same way we are supposed to be careful that whether my any activities, my any behavior, my any step is going to create pollution in the society that we are supposed to understand because ultimately it is our responsibility that my vehicle should not be responsible, my noise should not be responsible, my any activities should not be responsible for these things. And if everyone will start thinking about himself or herself then we can say that well, we can easily remove such problem from the society. So, pollution is another problem related to health and sanitation. Next is drinking water. You can easily understand that today it is matter of bad thing that we have to discuss issues related to water. We are very close to nature, but unfortunately we are not able to get the drinking water the safe drinking water, it is a problem for us, but it is surprising that even we are thinking about the water. So, we should keep trying that everyone should get proper safe drinking water at the same time if I am able to get, I should use that in a particular way, so that others should also get proper safe drinking water. So, safe drinking water is another problematic issue so far as health and sanitation is concerned. Next is housing. Of course, first of all everyone is not fortunate enough to get housing facility, but if we are getting or if we are planning to get, we are supposed to keep in mind certain things which are related to health and sanitation. It is not like that we may stay in any type of house. So, certain rules and regulations are already framed by the government agencies and even if we do not fall in that category, we should at our own level think that when we think of housing facility, we are supposed to keep in mind that it should remain good from each and every angle. Next is dirt. Of course, dirt is very dangerous whether it is in particular form or another form. Dirt creates lots of problem, not only for health from health angle or from other angle also. You can easily understand that dirt, you do not like that my area, my study, my bedroom or my working place should be full of dirt. When you do not want, then you should also not do anything which is creating problem for others also. So, dirt should not be there or it is our responsibility that how to remove dirts and we should not be part of creating more dirts in our nearby areas. Another is food alteration. It is very difficult to get the proper food. Food adulteration is another problem related to health and hygiene. Those who are indulged in such type of activities should understand that we should not play with the lives of others using pesticides and other number of bad things is dangerous and we if we are using particular chemicals, we should know that what is its scientific use, what is the percentage, what is harmful, which goes beyond a limit. These things we are supposed to understand before using such things in our life. Another is unsystematic lifestyle. Lifestyle plays important role in individual's health system. And when you are closer to environment, when you are closer to society, when you are following norms, patterns of the system, 
and that's why I said we talk the importance of society nowadays in different advertisements you might have seen Dadi Maj story or my Dadi Maj used to say so. It means it talks about the different advertisements talk about the importance of traditional things. Dadi Ma, Nani Ma in indicates or they symbolize the traditional aspects or the uh, traditional herbs or traditional medicine that we use to even today we pay sufficient attention to traditional things which is not every time necessary that you may get medicine, but if you follow certain traditional things and as we just discussed during COVID-19 we learnt a lot how to remain healthy by using these traditional things. So, traditional things are always good one part another if you want to remain healthy you do that practice you are supposed to behave in a particular way your routine should be systematic your uh, body clock should not go beyond particular limit your body clock should be regulated when you fix your timing of uh, sleeping timing of wake up or whatever it should be in a routine way generally we ignore the importance of routine life but do remember your lifestyle plays a major role in deciding your life deciding your health and not only your health number of individuals are closely associated to your well being. So, if you maintain good lifestyle you are going to keep you yourself healthy at the same time others also they may feel relaxed that you are safe. Role of sanitation in public life, role of sanitation in public health, sanitation can play important role in public health you may consider that ok these things are small things, but these small things play major role in individuals life because ultimately if you maintain cleanliness, if you maintain other things in a good thing then you may feel satisfied psychologically other than that from medical point of view. Let us discuss different aspects which can be uh, said to be played major role in uh, public health. First is individual sanitation of course, it is related to your own cleanliness related to your clean body, your clean clothes, your uh, surroundings and when you stay particular area your study should remain clean, your workplace should remain clean, if you are staying anywhere that should remain clean and you are supposed to take bath, you are supposed to maintain the cleanliness of your body and your uh, nearby areas that is part and parcel of your life. So, of course, generally we pay attention to this particular aspect and you are supposed to because if we cannot maintain our own hygiene, if we cannot maintain our own sanitation, our own body uh, related things, how can we think of that we can help others. So, individual sanitation plays major role and it is the foremost responsibility and duty of each and every one of us. Nutritive and sanify food, of course, when we start taking food sometimes you may find that it is difficult, but you are supposed to arrange when you are taking food because we just take food and we can easily get the benefit and of course, merits and demerits of the particular food we can easily get and it can easily be reflected in your body, in your temperature, in your health standards. So, you are supposed to take care when you are taking food, you are supposed to understand that yes, I am supposed to take particular type of food and it should be ok from every part. Pure drinking water, of course, you are supposed to be very careful because these days it is very difficult to take even the drinking water in a proper way. Pure drinking water is very difficult these days because drinking water is we may consider that well you may take any type of water, but drinking water should be remain pure and it should not be polluted. Polluted drinking water may harm you in any way. If we think that drinking water is not good or if you cannot get drinking water do not take the drink. 
So, drinking water is a necessary aspect of our life. We should be careful while taking drinking water. Next is waste and dirt disposal. We are supposed to take care about disposing of, of waste and other dirt material. Housing sanitation, of course, it is most necessary that when you are staying anywhere, it should remain very clean. That is our responsibility that we are supposed to keep in mind. Another environmental sanitation, we just discussed in last section that how environment sanitation, these are closely associated. So, environmental sanitation needs important or sufficient attention from our side. That is our responsibility to look after. Next is sanitation to consumer food. Of course, what we are taking food that should remain be okay and when we are taking any food, we should be careful that we are taking the good food. Then health education is most important part of life. We are sometimes, we are ignorant of number of other things. We do not know, unknowingly we commit number of mistakes that we should not. Health education is most important part of life because through health education, we may come across number of other things which we may not know. Health education tells us that well, these are the so called do's and don'ts of a healthy life. You are supposed to do this, you are not supposed to do this because sometimes whether we are aware or not, we may commit mistake without knowing the fact that it may affect us. Dear learners, you should try to understand that anyway you have to look after your health, look after the health of your near and dear ones because as it is rightly said that deal with the reality, otherwise reality will deal with you. So, you have to be very careful, you have to face the challenges of the society, you stay in the society. So, even if you are knowing something, but if you know that my these values, norms and traditions are good, you should follow. But sometimes we may face problem where you think that okay, it is good for my life, but as per our norms and tradition, I will not follow that. My uh, rules, regulations, my norms, my culture, my caste ethics, my other things are not allowing it. So, you are supposed to know the reality, you are not suppo simply supposed to follow all those things which are there, but you apply your common sense. Here I am reminded of one of the theories given in sociology that is known as theory of cultural lag. Theory of cultural lag is most important in this context. Cultural lag says that in this theory, Ogburn talks about two culture. One is material culture, another is non-material culture. Non-material cultures are norms, patterns, values and material culture are material things anything which are material like your mobile, phone, television, other things, number of material things, pen, pencil, computer, laptop, all these things are material things. And Ogborn says that when non-material culture lags behind material culture, this situation is known as cultural lag. Let us take the example of this cultural lag in our sanitation context. What happens? The material culture, it means sanitation or the toilet facility is there, the building is material culture. Building is there, toilet is there in nearby your areas, but non-material culture, non-material culture means mentality or psychological status of your mind. It says that no, it is bad to use the sanitation in nearby areas, it is bad to use toilet in our own campus. So, despite the fact that toilet facility is available, your culture will not allow to use that toilet. This is the example of cultural lag, that my values lags behind the available facility. It means for example, that toilet facility is there, that is establishment of toilet facility is material culture. Non-material is culture is my mentality, that my norms, patterns, values do not allow me to use that. Number of such cases you may find in health aspect also that that facility is already available, that benefit you may get, but your rigidness towards your culture, your rigidness towards your norms, patterns and values 
do not sometimes may not allow you to use that facility. It should not be there. There should not be any gap between what is there and what is not. So, dear learners, you should keep in mind that number of facilities are available. You are supposed to judge that, okay, this is good for me, I am supposed to use, this is bad for me, I am not supposed to use and keeping in mind the reality, you are supposed to look after your health. Dear learners, I have used these uh, uh, suggested readings and it may be used by you for referring to the particular lecture. Book by Sociology of Sanitation by Akram, B. K. Nagala's book Sociology of Sanitation, Madhu Nagala's book Gender and Health, Richard Pius's book Sociology of Sanitation, J. E. Park and K. Park's book Preventive and Social Medicine, Bindaswar Pathak's edited book Sociology of Sanitation, Environment Sanitation, Public Health and Social Deprivation, Asis Saxena's book Sociology of Sanitation. Well, this is all about dear learners today's lecture on public health and sanitation. Our next eighth lecture will be dedicated to discussion on what is international scenario of sanitation. So, in next eighth lecture, we will concentrate on sanitation and in its international scenario. Thanks a lot dear learners for your presence hearing and watching. Thank you. Hello everybody, now uh, the discussion which I would try to um, make uh, talk to you is about the excitement which I always feel and I am sure you will also reciprocate as I proceed and when you do the course is in the area of multivariate statistical problems and multivariate statistical analysis. So, what we mean by multivariate? So, we know that statistics is a, is a subject where you ha have a lot of data, you try to analyze that using different type of techniques like estimation problem, MCMC techniques, then forecasting and the area of time series analysis and then try to basically find out the best forecasting tool which you have such that you are able to gain the maximum amount of information from a set of data. Now, in the recent past, as we see that multivariate statistics has, has, has really increased in a, in, in a very exciting manner and if I trace back to history, it has been going on slowly for the last about 70, 80 years, but now the time has come where it is being used in a very big way and the techniques which we all know, but which are being utilized with new vigor are in the area of say for example, canonical correlation technique, in the area of factor analysis, in the area of conjoint analysis, in the area of clustering analysis, in the area of multidimensional uh, scaling techniques, structural equation modeling, be it in the area of finance, be it in the area of engineering, be it in the area of social sciences, be it in the area of economics, such that you are able to gather the the information from the data in such a way that it really gives you some useful set of information. Now, in the recent um, past, there has been also an explosion of large and complex data sets, but added to that there has also been a, a commensurate increase in the computing and the statistical techniques. 